Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, if you guys have been following my channel, you know I do not usually make these types of videos. I made one for Nick Fury, and I'm now making one for She-Hulk. And there's a couple of reasons. One, I have recently been invited and accepted uh, the content creator program, and there is this misunderstanding that a lot of people have. They think that because you are in the content creator program that you would be reluctant uh, to call them out if they are doing something wrong. And that is not true. Kabam has never told us that we could not speak our mind on these types of issues. No pressure, no anything, because if there was, then I would not be in the program. And I can tell you, that the content creators are not happy with this and they are letting Kabam know. All right, now, what is going on? Uh, you may already know, but She-Hulk is going to be chained so that she cannot chain her heavy from a combo. Now, if you know anything about what's been going on recently, She-Hulk, was capable of taking down the 6.2 champion very easily and this has been known for months and it is largely because of this mechanic whereby she can you know trap him in a corner uh, just basically heavy right from a combo and because she gets a lot of furies this is very effective now, there are other champions like Old Man Logan that can do the same thing. But the difference with She-Hulk is that she was starting to cost them. And this is my personal opinion. Uh, she was starting to cost them. Uh, she was viable, unlike Old Man Logan uh, currently. She was viable for doing these end game contents pretty easily. So instead of you having to spend a lot of resources, you could use her at a variety of ranks. You didn't even have to rank her all the way up. So what is my issue with Kabam on this? It's not that they, you know, found an issue and solved it. That's fine, okay? I saw this coming. When I saw what she was able to do, I knew they could not allow this to continue. However, how they've done this, that is my issue. Okay, this has been known for a long time, months. This is something that She-Hulk has been able to do for an even longer time, okay? This is not something new. The difference is that they recently reworked She-Hulk and now she is extremely viable for the end game content. So a lot of people ranked her up just because of this, okay? And now we're being told without warning, without anything, that they're gonna take that away. Now, in the past, they have said that they would not issue rank down tickets, just general ones. They said they would only do champion specific rank down tickets if there was a significant change. This is a significant change, but this is how companies do, and I'm very familiar with this, okay? Um, what they will do is they'll use different terminology. They'll try to redefine terms, they'll use different terms, and what they are likely to do is say, well, She-Hulk was just broken and we're just fixing a bug. First of all, a bug fix and a nerf are not mutually exclusive. You can nerf a champion by correcting a bug. If you don't understand completely, take a look at the video on my channel. Just do a, sh a search uh, for a nerf or bug fix and I explain what each of these things are. So the fact that they might be correcting unintended behavior, i.e. a bug, has nothing to do with whether she's nerfed. She is being significantly reduced in effectiveness. That is the definition of a nerf, okay? This change warrants 
rank down tickets specific to She-Hulk, just like what they said they were going to do. So it'll be interesting to see how they try to wiggle this out. These guys are politicians, let me tell you. They can wiggle out, they will explain why what they're doing now doesn't, is not covered in what they said earlier. Anything in order to not do what they said, okay? I'm not happy about it. Now, I don't have a She-Hulk as a five star. I didn't lose any resources on this. I have no uh, personal stake in rank down tickets. However, they need to issue. They need to do what they say and say what they do. This was a concept that I learned when I was young, okay? It's called integrity. And I am not seeing a lot of integrity from this company. Now, if you've been playing the game for a while, this should not come as a surprise to you. They haven't changed. If they wanted to change their image, they have no idea of how to do that. Because all they're doing right now is confirming the image that we have of them already. Now, the game is still fun to play. I'm not going to stop playing the game. But I will call them out when they behave this way. I remember uh, during 12.0, uh, you know, they have a right to change whatever they want. However, what they did with the, um, the, the Awakening Gem offer, and for you guys that weren't here at the time, they sold, they made this offer for Awakening Gems where you could choose your own class. This was a time where Scarlet Witch was top. She was so far beyond everyone else. If you bought this offer, you were gonna choose Mystic and you were gonna use it on her, okay? They knew that. So they made a lot of money and then they nerfed her. And see, these kind of decisions and changes have to be in the works for a little while. So it wasn't a spontaneous spur of the moment thing. Oh, um, she's too powerful, let's nerf her. No. So. They have done some shady things in the past and they continue to do these things. So you guys need to understand the type of company you're dealing with. And when I saw the rebalancing post, this is the kind of thing that I was worried about. I was worried that they were softening, trying to soften us up so that they could do something like this. And again, Rebalancing is not bad, that's good. They do need to periodically rebalance. But what and how they do it are two different things. You know, you can agree that Scarlet Witch needed to be balanced. She was way out of balance. But how they handled it, that seems to be the issue. And with She-Hulk, this is not something that she just recently started uh, doing. This is something that has been done. The company knew about this. They've even made posts praising one of the content creator program members for being able to complete the content with a low ranked She-Hulk. They were very much aware of this, all right? But in any case, that is my take on this particular issue. Uh, I have no problem with what they're doing but I do have a major problem with how they're doing it. Now, we still have time. They may decide to issue those rank down tickets to people who, you know, have the She-Hulk and, and ranked her up. And that would be the right thing to do. If they do not issue rank down tickets, then they will confirm every single bad thing that anyone has said about them. Okay, they are shady. Anything they say, will be supported in how they handle this issue because this is clearly a case for rank down tickets specific to the champion just what they said earlier so i'm very curious i'm i always take a wait and see attitude i want to see what they're going to do but one of the reasons that i do not spend regularly on this game is because of things like this Okay, that is why I don't spend regularly and the fact that I don't really have the money to be doing that right now, but that's another story. Uh, even if I did, 
I would not spend regularly on this game simply because I disagree with decisions like that. And that's how you vote. That is how you vote. You vote with your dollars. If you continue to pay and pay and pay, then what you're saying is, okay, I may not like it, but it doesn't matter. Why would they matter? Why would they care? If they're continuing to get their income, why would they care what you say, what you do, what you think? Boycott all you want, but if it does not hurt their bottom line, they won't even take notice. Why would they? This is a business, okay? They're not interested in your you know, personality. They're not interested in your moral fiber, nothing. They're interested in making money. That's what a business does, okay? So that's gonna do it. That is my rant on this particular issue. I hope they do the right thing and issue rank down tickets, but it is what it is. All right, so take care. Click like, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And you all have a blessed day.